Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to use a Texas BA2 Plus financial calculator to solve a word problem involving annuity. Let's see the example. Josephine purchased the car by making a down payment of $9,000 and monthly payments of $650 at the end of every month for three years. If interest was 3.5% per year, compounded monthly, what was the purchase price of the car? And what is the total amount paid for interest? So the day Josephine purchased the car, car she needed to pay for the car price. So she came up with $9,000. That's the down payment, which is not enough to cover the car price. That's why she also received a loan that requires monthly payments for three years. So the sum of down payment and the loan is the car price. Let's draw a timeline. The day Josephine purchased the car, that's also the day she received the loan. This loan amount is the present value. Over the three-year time period, Josephine's going to make monthly payments and at the end of the term, she will pay it off. So the future value of this loan would be zero. To solve this problem, we need to identify seven variables. CY, compounding periods per year. PY, payments per year. And also, on the calculator, this row, five buttons. We need N, IY, PV, PMT, and FV. So PV, we identify PV is on loan. That's the loan amount we're looking for. And the future value will be zero. And the PMT in this case is $650 every month. Because it's monthly payment, we know payments per year is 12. We also look at the interest, 3.5%. We will drop the percent sign for calculator entry. And we also know it's compounded monthly. So CY is also 12, 12 compounding periods per year. N is number of periodic payments. So we'll follow the formula. N is number of years times PY. We know it's a three-year term, and the PY is 12. So N is 36. Now we have all the variables we need to use calculator to find the value for PV. Let's turn it on by pushing on and off button. Before we enter all these values, let's make sure the calculator is set at the end mode, because the periodic payment happened at the end of every month. So go to second BGN. You see my calculator is already at end mode. If you need to change it, go second set, change to BGN, begin mode, and second set again. Now I'm back to end mode. We can do second quit, exit. Now for CY at PY, I go to second PY. So enter PY, 12, enter. Again, do not forget to push the enter button. Scroll down. CY is also 12. Great. Let's exit by pushing second and quit. Over here, N is 36. So let's push 36 first and then N. IY is 3.5. 3.5 IY. PV is unknown. PMT is 650. So when we look at all these three variables, be careful with the sign. For Josephine, 650 monthly payment for her is money leaving her. You can also consider it as cash outflow. So we should use negative for PMT. Let's put a negative there. Future value is zero. Now let's compute present value. So we have 
$22,182.73. We round it to three cents. And this number comes as positive. As you can imagine, it's for Josephine to receive the loan, the cash inflow, so it's positive. So now we have the loan amount. Let's calculate the car price. It's down, down payment $9,000 plus the loan, $22,182.73. So the answer, answer would be $31,182.73. That's the car price. Now we have to answer a second question. What is the total amount paid for interest? Let's write it over here. Interest paid. For Josephine, in order to pay back this loan amount, she has to make monthly payment $650. So we know $650 every month for three years, that's total payment Josephine made. To use this payment to cover the loan, and that difference is the interest payment. Let's do the calculation. 650 times 12 times 3, subtract 2218.73. So it's $1,217.27. And that is the interest paid for that loan. Now we solve the problem. Thank you for watching.